Yeah, until 9 a.m. I'm not really going to be able to talk to people. Oh. Sacred night is on the 24th day of winter. It's time for lovers to relax and chat at home, Mayor Godwin. Guys, welcome back to Let's Play Rune Factory, a fantasy harvest moon. It's been a while since I've actually said that. I know you probably got an episode recently, but due to illness, due to corona, which those two are not related, I've not been ill with corona, I've just been ill, and a bunch of other things happening, I've not been able to record. But here I am. You guys are hopefully getting a steady stream of episodes, and this series should be done in the next week and a half, two weeks, maybe? I am a fool. <laughs> so I'm just going to talk through this beginning section. Um, I've been, you know, ill. I've been overstressed, overworked, depressed over the state of the world, especially the state of the U.S., and things are rough. Things are really rough, and I really hope things get better. Looking at how people have treated each other and everything, it's just, it's gotten me down, you know? So I needed to take some time before I got back to this and just get better. I'm starting to put out uh, Danganronpa episodes. Uh, the first episode should be out in about half an hour, so that's pretty neat. I'm, uh... I'm just going to be having a good time with that. I've actually finished recording the entire first game, and we're actually starting the second game already. We've uh, done the first section of the first of uh, the second game, I should say. We haven't finished it yet, though. Hopefully tomorrow. <laughs> Things are starting to look a little bit better around here. Corona is still getting worse, and, you know, that's... Unfortunate, but it's to be expected. It is a virus. Alright. Take out my Smash Blade and get to smashing. Here in Casimir Ruins, if we come up here to Area 3, these little punks need to die. I'm hoping to get two items off them. I'm hoping to get a pair of leather gloves and a pair of giant gloves. Giant gloves are necessary to make the leather gloves, and I'd like to actually make that recipe. And the leather gloves are actually a requirement to make another pair of gloves called, I believe, the Power Gloves? Which just sounds like a Nintendo reference, to be honest. Here we go. Giant gloves. If I can get a pair of leather gloves, I'm done here. If we get lucky, then I'll have everything I need here. I won't have to fight these guys again. I'm. This episode is mainly just going to be taking care of loose ends. I'm not sure how long this episode is going to be. The last episode I was like, oh yeah, you know, this episode's getting kind of long. I need to end it here, and I go back to the editing, and uh, it's 20 minutes long. <laughs> I uh, I did a lot of speed ups and cuts and things, and it turned out to be not nearly as long as I thought it was going to be. So that was kind of awkward. And now here I am, just attempting to take care of this. Just going to try to get through as many different items today as I can. If I can get this drop to happen, but, you know. I don't seem to be very lucky with it right now. Maybe this guy's just luckier today. Kill him, get a pair of gloves, all good? Please? Once again, I wish I would still get anything for this, like, experience or anything. Even if just a little bit. Being max level, both max level uh, character as well as swordsmanship kind of makes this feel like waste. At least that's how I do it. Stingy, stingy. Parent giant gloves, so not exactly what I was going for, but that's fine for now. If I can get another pair of field gloves, I can just make a pair of leather gloves. Hey there, fairy. There we go. Fairy powder. Okay, so we're going to be fighting these guys, trying to get Silk Cloth off them. Just a quality cloth. Not what I need at all, to be honest. Give me the cloth already. They're my items, and I need them now! There we go. Silk Cloth. I believe that's the only one I need. I believe these guys have a drop as well. Well, 
Time to head home. Oh, got it. The scorpion pincher. Or, I guess it's the scorpion pinch. Because they didn't have enough characters, but I'm sure it's fine. So, you guys... Nope. I really thought it gave me it immediately. I was really happy for a moment. These guys have a shadow crop. I think it's the emery flower. Nope. Nope. Be kind. Well, alright, moving on. Need more glue for those gloves I want to make. Perfect. Easy and done. And I just realized it's 2 a.m. I, uh,. Oops. I completely lost track of time. Which means that that's rather unfortunate. I'll be tired tomorrow. Well. Okay. Ah, yes. Very unfortunate. Well, I'm tired now. Alright, if we come over here to the manor of the Day Sing Coquilles. Uh, it's essentially right before 9, so they aren't even out here yet. But, let's talk to Bianca. Morning. You came, Raguna. Well, it is the sacred night today. Well, we may as well talk, seeing as you're here. From now on, you can come over here sometimes if you like, Raguna. Well, not just sometimes. I enjoy my chats with you. Well, just a little. Uh oh That's super sweet. There we go. Bianca is now at 10 love with us. So tonight, right after everyone's uh, gone back to their rooms for the night, I'm going to go and talk to everyone who's at 7 love points or more. If we could have gotten Felicity up, we also could have done this with her. So Sharon, Lara, and Miss will all hopefully be at 10 love after today. If I could have gotten Felicity and Melody up a little bit higher, then I could have done this with them, but, you know, what are you going to do? Tori was never even in the running, though. The way this festival works is you just have to go and talk to the girls while they're in their room. I left the building and it immediately turned over to 9am, so I can't do it with anyone else yet. I have to do it tonight instead. So we actually need a bullhorn, which means I need to take down a bunch of these. There we go. We got what we needed. Sharon lives in front of these ruins. I can't figure that girl out at all. She never comes to take a bath in my place. I wonder if she has a secret bath somewhere. Or she just doesn't bathe, and that's concerning. It's sacred night today. You came, Ragoon. I'm happy that you did. I always wanted to relax and chat with you like this. I hope we can always be this close, Raguna. This counts as a place she can talk at? Or is it just literally anywhere and the information I was seeing was wrong? Yeah, um... Okay. That didn't give her a bunch of affection, though. Weird. This game's weird sometimes. Trying to get the leather gloves so I don't have to get another glue. And another set of field gloves. Yeah, I'm not getting any kind of luck here. Unfortunate. Okay, if we come over here to the decoration, and we use one giant's gloves, one field glove, and one glue, we can make the leather gloves. Tonight's sacred night. It'd be nice to sit down and have a nice long talk with someone. Health it. Health it. Health it. Farmer's sale will increase. Okay, so if we take a white, a red, an indigo, a green grass, a bullhorn, and a health hit.
Invinceroid combination success. The final pharmacy rep recipe is done. So I'm gonna rearrange my inventory. Give me just a moment. Scorpion pincher. Pinchers that can snap small branches. Take care not to get pinched yourself. Invinceroid increases all status numbers. It's so powerful that it's banned in some countries. This doesn't actually say anything about what it does. This will heal any status ailment, including the tired status, and give you resistance to it for a certain amount of time. Or maybe forever? I don't know. Um, it's very vague, and I'm not seeing agreements among anyone online. Um, it is a pain in the butt to make. Well, pain in the butt to get strong enough to make. Once you're able to make it, you might be able to pop a few of these. In the future, I may cover it, but unless I make a, like, video covering things I got wrong, just assume that it's right and that you just gain a temporary immunity to status ailments. Leather gloves. Dexterity plus one. Defense plus one. Fine leather gloves. Their pale green color is sure to draw any maiden's attention. Fairy powder. You know what fairy powder is. Powdered and gathered from fairies. Silky and very beautiful. Silk cloth. A high class silk cloth. Smooth to the touch. And we'll be shipping all of these. Alright. We are good. Um, so we never have to do pharmacy again. I may end up getting more bullhorns so I can make more of those invincible so I can test with it. But that might just be post game stuff. I, I don't think I really need to. Um, for the moment, I'm going to drink one of these. Also, uh, by the way, Metroid heals something like 60 RP. It, you know, it's just something I should make note of. Uh, for now, before I go and talk to the Maidens, I am going to go beat up a monster. Also, I just realized the health that actually heals the tired status, which I didn't know. And that's something I wish I did. Hmm. That would have saved me a lot of grief today. So yeah, just based on that, I could actually stay up as long as I wanted and just use a health in the morning. Or at least when I run out of RP. Oh, uh, quality skin. Do I have enough of these? Yeah, I believe I already have all the ones I needed of that, so... Unfortunate, but it's how it is. Fire crystal, of course. Oh, fire crystal. Today the sacred night. Are you gonna visit someone's house today, Raguna? Um... Yeah, visit someone's house. I wonder whose house. Every girl? Every girl's. Hi, Raguna. I knew you'd come. After all, it's sacred night. I was hoping I could have a nice long talk with you like this, Raguna. We should do this more often. Okay. Good evening. Hey, Raguna. I hope you don't mind me asking, but how do you feel about Melody? I don't know. I kind of like her. I thought so. That explains how you've been acting. Just so you know, I've got my sights on her, too. Well, he flat out said it. I don't think he said that line before. Neat. This bathroom really feels good, eh? It's sacred night. I want to spend the hours relaxing at home with you. It might be that you only get credit for the first person you talk to. I'll be confirming this just with some of the people who are at 7 but aren't quite there yet. I probably just sound like a bragging father, but that girl's a pretty wonderful nurse too. And she's glad to be able to help people. What do you think of my daughter, Mr. Raguna? If I married a good man like you, I wouldn't have to worry about her. Good evening. I'd hope you'd come, Raguna. This is Secret Night, you know? I was hoping I could have a nice long talk with you like this, Raguna. We should do this more often. Laura went up to 10, so I'm confused. Not everyone's getting affection. Which... It might be that the game was counting Sharon not at 7 because it wasn't a time where she could talk. Ah, my lord, you're here. I thought you'd come on Sacred Night. My lord, I wanted to chat with you like this at home. My lord, I hope you always stay this close. Thank you. It's rare to meet in a place like this. The people of this town are very kind, but that can be a burden at times. 
I'm really not sure. Maybe Sharon's an exception. Maybe she had comment on the festival but didn't get its effects. They're still here. They're a persistent bunch. So she's at one. Today's sacred night. That's when you go to the house of the person you like. No. One. Anyone have any other comments? Did Newman tell you the story of Stor's chalice? He's such a chatterbox. So, Sabrina, where's the chalice now? I don't remember. Sabrina, I know Newman really regrets what he did. But there's also Nicholas to think of. There are times when a boy needs his father. What? Don't be so insolent. You're still a child yourself, Raguna. I'm sorry. But, like you say, Nicholas is so fond of Newman. I buried the chalice somewhere in Casimir Ruins in a place that looks like a cross that had scratched into the ground. But please don't tell this to Newman. Promise me. Why not? The chalice must be handed to a couple by a third party. Neither I nor Newman may touch it again. Right. If the chalice has ever returned to me, I may consider taking Newman back. Fitting that on tonight I would get that quest to prompt. Guys, in a little bit we'll be heading over to Casimir. I doubt Nicholas has anything to say about tonight. Yep, he's just talking about his father. So, we've been working on a quest throughout the game just to talk to them on certain days and get them to talk about Stor's chalice and tell the story. Where Newman was a fool who got drunk the night before their wedding and drank out the chalice with someone else. And yes, it was an incredibly messed up thing to do. But he was really drunk and he he wasn't going to do anything. He was drunk, realized that he was getting too close to someone, started backing off, and that's when she saw it and she was hurt. It's not easy, but this is where we come in. Now, our final stop before we go to Casimir. is over at Mist's place. Uh, Mist's place? Miss, I, um, huh, hmm, Mist, where are you? Kind of trying to talk to you. There you are. I love to take a good path. It feels so nice. That's awkward. Okay, uh, we'll try to talk to the two of these girls after the bathhouse is closed, maybe? Or maybe right as it's getting closer to closing? Let's hope we can still do it. Now, Stores Chalice. I'm not 100% on where it is, but I have an idea. Okay, here in Casimir, I think this is correct. Um. No? I thought it was... Uh, I'll figure this out. Is this Stor's Chalice? We've got the Stor's Chalice. I better tell Sabrina. I don't see the cross or whatever they were talking about. Yeah, but yeah, sure, okay. Totally. I ended up having to Google it because I found a cross and it was like, oh, this isn't right. I'm like, then what are you talking about? It's sacred night, a day when lovers relax at home. Melody's still just a five. So maybe you don't get affection if you're not at seven, or maybe... I'm not sure. I'm not sure what dictates what on this night. This is a lot of question marks up in the air for me. Now... She's up here. Stor Chalice. A legendary chalice purported to bring happiness to the one who drinks its contents. 
purported. Not a word I've ever used before, but here it is. Star Wars Chalice? Yes, this is it. I don't believe you actually found it. Can you and Newman get back together now? Oh, finally. I feel like weight has been taken off, off me after all these years. I'm so pleased for you. Thank you, Rakuna. Do you, Newman, take Sabrina to have and hold in sickness and health till death do you part? I do. And do you, Sabrina, take Newman to have and hold in sickness and in health till death do you part? I do. Okay, that's cute. Very well. You may now kiss the bride. By the powers vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Congratulations, Mom! Newman will be my new dad now, right? That's right, so go easy on him, okay? I will, besides, we're already friends! Oh, right. <laughs> Congratulations, Newman. Sabrina. Thanks. We owe a lot to you, Raguna. Yes, without you, Raguna, I could probably couldn't have been remarried. No, your feelings for each other is what brought you together. I just lent a little hand. Thank you, Raguna. We're so glad you did. Enjoy your new life living together. Actually, we're both still going to live in our own homes, at least for the time being. Oh? We both have our own shops to run, you see, but I'm sure we'll build a brand new house soon. Right, Newman? Huh? <laughs> if you say so, dear. <laughs> May you live happily ever after. Congratulations, you two. May all your days together be happy ones. Congratulations. I'm so happy for you. Congratulations. May the three of you be happy. Congratulations. When are you going to have your next child? Creepy thing to say. Congratulations. I really like Sabrina's wedding dress. It's so original. So you're back together again. Well, that's good too. Congratulations. Congratulations, Sabrina is very beautiful. I'm glad Nicholas is so happy too. Congratulations, you make quite the couple. You two should drop by the library sometime. Congratulations, both of you are so special, I'm sure you'll get along splendidly. Oh, uh, you're embarking on a new life together. Here's to your future. It must be nice being married. I'm so jealous. Congratulations. There's nothing wrong with getting remarried. Hi, congratulations. There's so many troubles in life. But together, do you two of a kin come over in the yardle? Overcome any idol, whatever. Congratulations, I never expected Sabrina and Newman to get married. Considering you guys hated each other until recently. No matter how many times you have them, weddings are always causes for celebration. Or a cause for celebration, whatever. Your second marriage, hmm? I think it's a good thing. Thank you, you've given me courage. Congratulations! I hope your future will be glorious. <laughs> Congratulations and good luck! Well, well, this is wonderful. Congratulations! Congratulations! The two of you look wonderful! Congratulations. May your future be blessed with happiness. Thank you for everyone for coming today. Hmm. From this day forth, the three of us will enjoy our life together as a family. Oh. 
I didn't know it was skipped to the next day. I guess we don't get to talk to Miss. Never mind. That's unfortunate. Hmm. Not exactly what I wanted, either. I There wasn't any kind of hint to that happening. Okay, <laughs> I knew that there would be a wedding. I've never actually gotten that scene before, though. Back when I played previously, I kind of sped through the game, and I've never gotten that side quest done. I've done most of the others. Oh, yeah, neat. So guys, next time on Let's Play Rune Factory, a fantasy harvest moon. We still have some fishing to do, some hydro gathering and crafting to do. I have to keep taking care of all the crops and grow the rest of the crops that we need so that we can both cook and ship every crop. So, we still have more ahead of us. We don't have very much more, though. I hope you all have a fantastic day, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.